The other person that we lost was Terry Funk. And of course, uh, you know, just an absolute legend in this industry. And, uh, you know, one guy that I think sometimes people forget about a little bit, which is kind of sad because you know, he was really one of the best to ever do it. And of course, Texas guy down there. And uh, your thoughts on the passing of Terry Funk. Uh, Terry Funk is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Um, bar none. He embodied literally every single ounce of professional wrestling he embodied within him. And hey, look, there's no knock on any other state, but I just kind of think that Texas does wrestling a little bit better than most places. <laughs> and, if you, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> and if you stand out in a crowd amongst Texas wrestlers, uh, when you talk about some of the all-time greats, you know, Booker, Sean, Austin, Taker, Dusty, uh, you have to mention Funk. You know, when you talk about the great exports from Texas wrestling and, um, you know, <laughs> we were talking about on the show this week of just this guy was in his late fifties trying to do a moonsault and a hardcore match. Like he was, he was absolutely <laughs> insane, insane. And and if you go back and you listen to stories and, and no one tells better Terry Funk stories than Mick Foley, um, who I know they were very close. That was his mentor. You hear some of these stories and how, how, literally much he loved this business i think mick foley and, and forgive me if i get any of this wrong told the story and i'm paraphrasing that you know somebody had i don't know attacked terry or stabbed terry or something and and mick was like hey are you gonna press charges and he goes cactus why would i press charges on somebody who gave me the biggest compliment of my life you know <laughs> being wow. such a good heel he got all this heat from this from this fan um so yeah terry funk you know it still 79 it isn't very old nowadays um, but you know, still taken a little bit too soon because I, I would have loved to to hear. I would love to hear a Terry Funk podcast. That would have been one for the oh my for the God. agents. Yeah, could you imagine if Terry would have if you'd have moved him up and started his career in the eighties? Yeah, where where if if he would have if he would have started wrestling later, I I think that he would probably be one of those guys that people talk about putting on the Mount Rushmore of wrestling. I mean, just what he what started he in what the 70s, mid 70s, yeah, late like 60s, that? I believe late 60s. Yeah. OK, so late 60s, 70s. And then he even had a match up until the mid 2000s in WWE. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, in WWE, I'm talking national television, not a, <laughs> at an indie show. So he had a six decade run. <laughs> yep. It's insane. Yep. Unbelievable. Insane. Yeah. One of the him and his brother, obviously, Dory Funk, phenomenal as well. Um, but Terry. Oh, when I think of Terry Funk, one of the first things I think of is the dumpster match from WrestleMania. Oh, that was uh, against the New Age Outlaws. Mm -hmm. And that was just back when wrestling was just off the wall and fun. Remember when they got shoved off the stage in the dumpster on Raw one night, him and Cactus? Just, Chain, you know, Chainsaw. Yeah. Chainsaw Charlie, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chainsaw Charlie. Just so great. I, I love Terry Funk. And yeah, we lost an absolute legend with him. Yeah, I, I, you know, that was one of the moments I remember too. And the, you know, the, the Ric Flair feud in WCW with oh, yeah. Terry Funk was, you know, that, that just came so out of the blue. And, you know, I still remember being so shocked at that night when, when Terry just tore him apart and then they got in that great run and that was just coming off the Ricky Steamboat run for Flair too. And now you dive into taking on Terry Funk in some classic matches and some of the greatest promos that, I've ever seen in pro wrestling. I mean, God, he was just, he was just such an incredible, incredible talent. Now, did they have an empty arena match or a Falls count anywhere? I think it was a false count. I think it was a false count anywhere. anywhere yeah. Whichever it was, I remember watching it on some DVD that they put out like a compilation. Maybe it was a flair DVD and thinking this was the greatest wrestling match I'd ever seen. You know, at the time I remember thinking this is the greatest wrestling match I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, the, uh, it, empty arena. Yeah. Empty arena. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. I remember, I remember thinking this was the greatest match I've ever seen. And, um, it just tells you how great those two were to be able to bring me in decades later with no audience reaction, right? You know, completely quiet arena. That tells you how great of a worker both of those guys are, but especially Terry Funk. Yeah. So two, two greats have gone away and uh, we will miss them. And I'm, and I'm, you know, they did a great job honoring them on SmackDown on Friday night. And I'm, I would imagine AEW is probably going to do something today too. I would, I would certainly hope so. We'll, Absolutely. We'll, we'll see how that goes.